could the boys take out the Marvel Cinematic Universe? And before we get started, the boys just means the boys universe, not yes. just the boys, because obviously the boys could not beat Iron Man and Thor and all of them. Hell no. But let's see what you guys said about it. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is one of the more stacked uh, roster of characters. Absolutely. So we're kind of in a, a standstill. <laughs> and a more loved cast of characters, I think. That's a big part of it is a lot of the, a lot of our fans uh, are more familiar with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing this based on matchups. I know mm -hmm. in the show, Billy Butcher would have a problem with like, you know, the bigger soups. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In this one, we've got Billy Butcher and The Punisher. Now, The Punisher is from the Daredevil uh, Netflix universe, mm -hmm. but that's all getting adopted Played into the John MCU. Played by John Bernthal. That's very true. What a legend. He hasn't, at the time of recording, he hasn't actually come out in the MCU yet. Like they haven't done the Daredevil Born Again, but I think it's all rolled into one. Right. Yeah, and when he does come out, he will be very brave for doing so. And I will be his <laughs> ally. That's very inclusive of you, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So with a total of 380 votes, uh, Billy Butcher got 24% versus the Punisher's <laughs> 76%. What's funny, too, is when we first put this poll out, it was a lot closer, and I was like, oh, okay, we're going to get some back and forth. And then, yeah. like, day two, we looked at it, and it was Gap City. <laughs> uh, I guess spoilers for The Boys Season 4, but the B Butcher has superpowers now. Yeah. Canonically. And we're saying that, that uh, the Punisher still beats him? Yeah. To be fair, we put this poll out before we realized he was going to have superpowers. It's very true. Uh, even still, the Punisher still has all this, like, and I, I didn't specify that yeah. this was, like, TV Punisher versus TV Butcher. If the Punisher gets a lucky shot off, yeah, he's got tentacles coming out of him, but he just needs a bullet to the brain, you know? Does Butcher have, like, immunity and stuff? Though? I didn't like see. I mean, you see him get punched and get bloody and stuff, you know? I guess it is. And I he got beat up by Black Noir. That's true. I, I think the um, the powers are kind of uh, Joe Kessler's manifestation. Mm -hmm. So if Joe Kessler doesn't want to do it, then it's not getting done. Yeah. And I also think it's just the tumor, like the, the veins, whatever it is, yeah. that has the powers. I don't think Butcher has like yeah. the full. Yeah. If you took those tumors out, he'd be powerless. Yeah, and that makes it more interesting because like if it is a headshot, there is just no chance. Yeah. <laughs> Puffer Fancy Fish says, <laughs> Punisher wins easy. Dude is beyond human and actively collects weapons from people he's battled. He has Hawkeye's trick arrows, Captain America's shield, one of Doc Ock's tentacles, the Green Goblin's <laughs> pumpkin bombs, yeah. pin particles, Ant-Man's helmet to control ants, and full-on Iron Man armor. I don't know. I don't know. Not in the not in the show. He doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's very much realistic. In, in the, the show, show, he's just got canal, uh, like primal rage fueling him. Yeah, some guns, maybe maybe a knife or two. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> but um, it's I, gonna be close, I think. Yeah, I, I, regardless of like you know superpowers or whatever, if it was season three butcher versus yeah, well season three's got like laser eyes yeah, so even that's unfair. Season one butcher versus like season one punisher yeah, toss up I think. I think I think the reason they're fighting too, I like to think about this is that Billy Butcher is kind of a scorched earth kind of guy, especially in season one. So I think with him it would be like, um, it'd be a kind of a twist. The Punisher's family didn't get killed by the mob. Yeah. He get caught. They got killed by the fallout of one of Billy Butcher's operations to take out a soup. Interesting. So then Billy, or then uh, the Punisher's like, well, now I got to kill Billy Butcher because he's the one that killed my family. That's interesting. So we're doing like a like a shared universe kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I think that's how it would work. Um, we also have let's see, P F E A N Y C S. If that spells something, I don't know what it is. Nope. Says, how do you accurately judge if a man who usually holds his own against those light years out of his league can defeat another man with a better arsenal? By all intents and purposes, Punisher should win based off his loadout alone, but Billy Butcher is Billy Butcher, you know? Hard to tell. Yeah. I agree is. with that. It yeah. is hard to tell. You <coughs> voted. We listened. Punisher wins. Honestly, even if Punisher wins, maybe they don't. Neither of them come out alive. Just Punisher gets the killing blow before and then dies of his wounds later, you know? John Wick 4 style. Yeah. Kinda, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, let's move on to the next one. It would um, be a nice fight to watch, though. Oh, yeah, that would be super entertaining, wouldn't it? Especially with Butcher with a crowbar. <laughs> or would it just be like them kind of shooting at each other from afar and it not really yeah. being much? I don't know. Butcher likes to get up close with that crowbar. That's true. He's not really a sniper, is he? I know mm -hmm. Frank likes his guns. Frank so. likes his guns a lot. Anyway, so the next logical choice here, we have Iron Man from the Avengers slash MCU, Homelander from the Boys slash Amazon Prime. This had 648 votes. What's your guess? What would you say? I want to say Homelander should win, but I don't think the vote's <laughs> going to go that way. Of course it's not going that way. Nobody likes Homelander. Every, yeah. <laughs> everyone in fiction bodies Homelander. Yeah, absolutely. The baby from the baby's from Baby Geniuses 2 that have superpowers. Do you watch Baby Geniuses? <laughs> yeah, of course I've seen Baby Geniuses. I love Baby Geniuses. Do you know the second one they have superpowers? Yeah. That, they would dog walk But they're home, not even the Homelander. same group of babies in the second movie. It doesn't matter. They've got superpowers. I just remember being really confused about that back in the day. You know? <laughs> the minions from the newest Despicable Me with superpowers, they would dog walk I think too. they have cartoon powers though you know what i mean like yeah they can't die they just get squished and, and they come back <laughs> yeah 
Uh, so you're right. Accurately, you've projected that Homelander got 28% of the votes. Wow. Uh, Iron Man got 72% it's of the votes. It's that bad. Um, a lot of the comments were sort of split on this because we, we specify this is from the Avengers. So he doesn't have all the... Um, oh, like the first Avengers? Yeah, he didn't have like the microtech or anything like that. He didn't have no. like the, the hard light constructs like he does mm-hmm. in Infinity War and Endgame. If he does, I think it's more of a landslide because yeah. he ha- holds his own against Thanos. Thanos is totally Oh, yeah, dude. He gets a drop of blood on Thanos. You get a drop yeah. of blood on Thanos, you're squishing Homelander's head between your thighs. <laughs> in a like a watermelon, man. baby. Yeah. Um, Crush his head like a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Eardon Blaze says, finally, a fight Homelander would maybe actually win. If we take Tony pre-Endgame, Homelander wins. Endgame Tony, on the other hand, would probably win, given that he's got a very strong counter in the form of Hard Light. Yeah, and Infinity Stones, if we're talking Endgame. Yeah, I don't think he gets Infinity Stones. Yeah. He's only, he only had him once, and it did kill him, so yeah. all Homelander has to do is just not... No, he's done. If he hasn't finished, you know what's crazy done. too is like a little plot hole here. But like when you snap your fingers and you say, "I want all of Thanos' armies to get wiped from existence," put a little caveat at there at the end that says, "Also, I don't want this to hurt me." <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to die from this. Yeah. How about uh, everyone that's from the past dies, and I also live? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Good to go. You know what I mean? I guess he wasn't thinking that far yeah. ahead. Or when my heart stops, uh, I magically come back to life. You know what I mean? Like anything. <laughs> anything. About uh, the world's actually okay now, and there's no yeah. issues from the uh, snap clone of me did it, so uh, I'll come out and there'll be a dead <laughs> me on the ground, but I will be alive. Yeah. How about Captain Marvel actually did this, and she's powerful enough to do it? So yeah. Snap fine. my fingers. Put the glove on Captain Marvel. <laughs> she can live, but make it to where she dies anyway. <laughs> this will be better for ratings, trust me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All this happened in his head, and then he snaps. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> um, we've got uh, Millie Way's bartender says earlier iterations of Iron Man, like in the first movie and the Avengers, I think Homelander would win because. He could laser through the suit and disable him, but Iron Man in the third movie could overpower Homelander with a bunch of remote AI-controlled suits, That's and true. Nano Iron Man suit could probably beat him easily. Also, he could put he do like he did to the one guy and put a suit around him and then initiate self-destruct. Yeah, would that would that probably wouldn't kill Homelander though? He'd do it a few times, it probably will. <laughs> I don't think Homelander's that strong, like objectively. Yeah. Like but we in, just haven't seen him have to be that strong. You know what I mean? Well, we've, we can we, we can relate him like back big to like, bully, essentially. That's his main superpower is just intimidation. Yeah, because like he is strong. Like, he's the strongest suit probably in the universe. Their but, universe. Yeah, in their universe. But like you know, I. I I don't think he's better than like anyone from the Marvel universe. Like, yeah. there's, there's a, there's Spider Man could kill him. I was gonna say there's a small, there's a small chance that Spider Man actually wins. Yeah, if he could just avoid the lasers and web him up, and he's, he's strong enough to probably yeah. take him out. Wolverine honestly. wins. Cyclops bodies him, and Cyclops is a bitch. <laughs> don't say that. Cyclops is a love beloved by fans, especially now that X Men '97 came out. Yeah, go check out our review right here. I don't know. I think there's a there's a possibility that Iron Man's uh, repulsors cancel out his laser beams. Yeah, they might be as strong as I mm-hmm. think they're. I think. Yeah, Homelander's organic like eye beams might be stronger, yeah. but it's hard and to say. And Iron Man's got a pretty high tech s- a suit anyway, yeah. as far as like durability, because yeah. he needs it to be higher durability than like what it. I can't remember what he calls it um, in the first movie. I don't remember. But he's got that like element that he created, so there's yeah, like, in- yeah, that too. Source. So he does take a hit from Thor, and it just powers him up. Yeah, uh, granted, not the same as Laser Eyes, obviously. Yeah. He fights Thor in that movie. Yeah, he fights Thor. Thor could definitely take out Homelander. That oh, one hundred percent. That was going to be the original matchup, but like it's not. It's a, not even close. Not a fight, so, yeah. Uh, so yeah, congrats. Which to Iron you. Man wasn't even close. Either. <laughs> <laughs> That's our second point for the MCU. Yep. Um, so we'll go to two O right now. Two O. This one is actually closer. This is Soldier Boy and Captain America. Yeah. What do you think? What, just pre pre this? What do you think? Again, I think. I think Captain America wins. Soldier Boy may be stronger, but Captain America is actually a real war hero you know what i mean soldier boy just did a bunch of props and stunts and stuff you know yeah soldier boy is the version of captain america that's like on stage with the little you know the comic accurate look Mm -hmm. kind of thing no yeah you're right uh captain america got 61 percent. the soldier boy got 39 percent. yeah but i think this is an even more even fight because i think while soldier boy is stronger than cap Cap has got the determination and he's got mm-hmm. the shield. His shield's way better than Soldier Boy's. Yeah, we see Soldier, Soldier Boy's is just a big hunk of metal. Yeah, yeah. It's a big, like, heavy looking piece of, you know, whatever. Yeah, like com- copper. <laughs> it's <laughs> copper? Yeah. Um, we get, yeah, we get, uh, but the only difference is, right, like, Soldier Boy was tested on and he had, like, the extra power that takes yeah, away superpowers. Yeah. yeah. So would that work on Captain well, America? Well, Captain America doesn't have superpowers. He has essentially juiced up steroids. Well, it's the same thing, right? It's supernatural abilities. Not supernatural. If anything, that's the closest that 
the MCU gets to having like a Vought type technology. Ooh, that is true. So that I think true. that if anyone, it works on Captain America. But if anything could block that blast, it'd be the Captain America shield. That's true. And I do think Captain America is smart enough to see him like glowing and radiating. I think he would get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think he would get hit by the blast. Yeah. And he can run real fast. We need to take a second though that Soldier Boy's got a sick costume. He does look cool. Like it's Jensen Ackles. Yeah. Like prime Jensen Ackles. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Okay, we got I N E. <laughs> I-N-E-N-F-M-K says, Soldier Boy is supposed to be equal to Homelander, who is like a dark Superman, so SB is essentially fighting Superman. Not to mention that a uh, point-blank shot from a sniper rifle could, couldn't could damage him, so Cap is nowhere near that level. That is true. He's that more durable. True. He is yeah. more durable. He's more invulnerable. But in a long-term fight, he's more willing to probably bend the knee and be like, oh, I'm done, dude. You know, yeah. Cap's going to, he could do this all day. <laughs> you know what I mean? He could literally do this all day. Yeah. We see him like against Thanos just 1v1 at yeah. one point. And he's just like, you literally have to knock me the f*** out before I, I surrender. You know? I think we almost said this is Cap from Endgame when he has the hammer. Just make it even because he has the blast. Oh my god. If Cap has the hammer, dude, it's, it's way Jover going. for him. Dude. It's Jover, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. No, I, I don't think, I don't think Cap needs any... Popularity wise and power wise, he doesn't need any buffs. Like yeah. he's fine, he can take it yeah. just like that. And he can throw his shield and get kind of at a range from him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, you know, it always comes back to him anyway. It's not. Soldier Boy's like, oh, can I do that? Throws his shield. <laughs> now he's out of his shield. It doesn't even go very far. It just kind of clunks yeah. on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's three zero oh, three for Marvel, zero for the boys. Now we have another it's really, really close one. In oh the really? Form of uh, Quicksilver versus A Train. Okay, I saw this one. I'm pretty sure they actually they vote A Train, right? <laughs> they voted A Train. Because I used the picture of Quicksilver dead on the floor. That probably did lead <laughs> a lot. But honestly, though, I could kind of. This one's a lot closer because MCU Quicksilver is laughable. Okay, the worst speedster I've ever seen in a movie. I in don't my understand life. why he's so incompetent. Speedsters are normally like very goofy and jokey, but they're still competent. And they're so good. Yeah, this one, like from uh, Age of Ultron, doesn't do much. Anything. He saves people on a train and is winded afterwards. Yeah. You're a speedster. <laughs> Get your <laughs> together. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that guy, but you're you're right. You accurately predicted the A train wins against the Quicksilver with a 53% versus 47%. So it is close. I no, will it is say close X Men now. Quicksilver bodies. Oh A yeah. It's not even close. I mean, we haven't seen A train like stop time essentially. Yeah. Like Quicksilver from the. We haven't actually team. really seen A train do much more than OD his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you know? He ran over uh, Robin in the first episode. Oh, he yeah, ran through her. Yeah. And then he also took. Blue Jay or whatever and smeared him mm. across the concrete. It's like Jayhawk or Blue yeah. Hawk Blue Hawk. Something like that. Yeah. That was crazy. That was crazy. That was a that was like a good like Yeah, I get his yeah. ass. Yeah, I like that. I like his I like his redemption in the in the yeah, 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 it's good. show so far. Because they, they were gonna make him like like if you watch the first season, he's pretty much like one of the like main antagonists. He's yeah. like the homelander for Huey, you know. Mm -hmm. what I mean? So I'm glad that they did kind of take him a different way and yeah. made him like more likable. I do like A Train now. Yeah, like, I, I like him. I've always had a soft spot, for sp spot soft spot for speedsters anyway. So I will say both these characters, Quicksilver and A Train, have bad outfits. I don't like their outfits. Oh yeah, terrible outfits on both of them. What is what is A Train's like plastic little thing? Right I don't here? know. I don't like it though. Is that for like bugs? Is it for like bug protection? Why is he why is he carrying? Why bugs? is it only on the chest part? <laughs> I don't know. It looks bad. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Quicksilver's is just like an Adidas shirt, though. So yeah, it's, not it's literally there. just a, a track suit. <laughs> it's not good he's at a all. Runner, he's a track star. The Watcher 8959 says, Quicksilver is actually faster. And he says, because he is hypersonic in the MCU, A-Train has stopped at like 30, 340 miles per hour at best or something. His comics version can move at Mach 3, while comic Quicksilver has gone light speed. Again, not the comments. I yeah. did specify on this one. But that is, that is good. The Watcher is still with MCU, the What If show. So if he says he can go at sonic speeds. This is actually the 8,959th watcher. Oh, not so. the MCU, which is 626. 616? Six, six, six? Yeah. Stitch. <laughs> uh, we also got... Stitch bodies everybody. Stitch? Stitch kills the yeah, Marvel no, universe. Stitch definitely beats Homelander. Yeah. <laughs> is that true? Do we think that? That's probably true. He can't... Oh. He can, like... He's not really... He's pretty much... Yeah. You know... He's in, indestructible, too. Indestructible, yeah. Um, we got Stonks3507. Who says MCU Quicksilver is all right, but A Train is like a better Quicksilver. A Train is faster, more durable, and probably smarter. Yeah, I don't. A Train's not incredibly smart. No, average intelligence. So he's just calling <laughs> Quicksilver's MCU just really dumb. 
He did. I mean, he's a speedster that got killed by bullets. He's probably faster the than bullets. The one thing you're supposed to be able to dodge. Yeah, and, a speedster. and he's got like no dur- in, uh, endurability or durability or whatever. Yeah. Uh, at least A Train, I'm pretty sure. Like, I think all soups and the boys have at least a level of strength and durability. Yeah. And if not, if they can still, like, because we saw the shifter, she got shot. She just kept walking. Yeah, yeah. You know? But some people have straight immune skin, you know? Yeah. And, like, like Translucent was like that. The Deep's like that. I wonder yeah. if there's any superheroes that are well, not um, like that. Sage. Storm- Sage is not like that. Because yeah, she yeah, says, yeah. shoot me in the heart, I'll die. Shoot me in the head, I'll, I'll regenerate yeah. it. Stormfront, she could get her chest lasered by. Yeah, by but she's still super durable. Yeah, I think I think most of them are pretty durable. I, I yeah. mean, I, w- I wouldn't be surprised. And he's on the seven. That's like the peak of yeah. the superheroes in this it's world. It's kind of like with if, if you're a superhero in DC, you have strength <laughs> and flight of yeah. some way. If you're part of the boys' universe and you have superpowers, you're probably strong in some aspect. And durable. I think you're, yeah. you're hard to kill. That's and that's that's what makes the boys interesting is that they can't just go yeah. around and shoot them because you know? it is a super soldier serum that happens to also give them extra powers. Yeah, so. yeah. Which some of the powers I don't know like. Like controlling blood, how does that? How does like a vial of blue give you that power? You know, I don't know. Well, it's kind of probably like mutants. Yeah, Mut- kind of mutate your DNA. Activates like a gene kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm happy with this one. So this is three one. Marvel, one the boys. Well, they're catching up. Oh yeah, A Train is really helping them catch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did have this is a good time to mention. I did have another matchup with the Deep and um, uh, Namor. 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 But uh, it's no, that's no contest, right? Yeah, it's not. I was gonna say maybe like the deep, and if there was like an Agents of Shield person that was underwater or something, yeah. maybe that could work. If you guys want to, you can put your comments down below. Yeah. Do you, cool think, do you think? Do you think the? Do you think if is there anyone that thinks the the deep or as people call him the peak, that could beat uh, Namor? I don't think. Deep don't think thoughts so. with the deep? Does he beat Namor? <laughs> I don't think so. But that honestly, is, I really like Namor. I do like him too. I kind of wish he did more. As his name suggests, he did no more. No more. Um, okay, so we got the next one. This one, I guess, was a bad matchup on my part. And y'all can let us know in the comments. But uh, Starlight versus Monica Rambo, who is uh, called Spectrum in the comics. Mm-hmm. But she hasn't been called that yet to my knowledge. In the I'm movies. on the Spectrum. <laughs> Aren't we all? You know what I mean? It's not a sexual reference either. Yeah. Well, well, why did, why did Monica sexual? Rambo can get it. <laughs> She's pretty attractive, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I know her from... I even said that in one of the comments. Someone was like, no one watched the Marvels. And I go, I, I knew her from WandaVision. <laughs> <laughs> I, I agree with you, but... So this is going to be a lot on you because you know more of her power set than I do. I've seen her do a couple things. Like, she gets her powers going into the I've hex. seen her do light blasts. Yeah, she can fly, right, too? Yeah, she learns that in like 10 seconds. Worst thing ever. If you haven't seen the Marvels, you're lucky. Um, <laughs> you're lucky. But there's a part where Kamala Khan is falling and Nick Fury looks at Monica and goes... You better learn how to fly. And she's like, I don't know how. He's like, you better learn quick or she's going to die. And so she goes, okay. And then just flies. <laughs> it's it's the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. It's Star Wars level bad writing. Star Wars level bad. George Lucas would be ashamed to have written that. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Uh, we do see Starlight flying, though, at the end of season four. Spoilers. Yeah. Um, but she also, she's been, she I think she kind of practiced it. Mm-hmm. She looks really good at flying at the end of that. Yeah, like, yeah, she yeah. really gets up out of there. But no one explains why she got her powers back. Uh, it's a Spider-Man 2 thing. She'd get her confidence back. I don't know. But did she? Where, how did she get her confidence she back? She beat the shifter. Oh, she, she killed herself. Yeah, yeah she, killed, she killed the negative version of herself. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so we have Starlight with 21% and Monica Rambeau with 79% with Damn. a total of 691 votes. Damn. So it's a dog walk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is really funny. This comment, AJ Moses, AJ I Moses. Bro, I know rats in my neighborhood that had jumped Starlight and knock her the F out. Shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> this is also, we posted this at the at the peak of that like meme of the Mog, Mog Light meme yeah, and all this dude. stuff. And, oh, I love that though. And she like hasn't been using her powers this whole season. So I think all she does is of, her eyes. Like that one girl that does the Jean Grey eye where she's like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen that? No, I haven't, but <laughs> I, I can picture it. I'll do the edit it in. User W. L1RX4HJ60 bot. Oh. Is it a bot? You think it's a bot? Nah, maybe not. I think that's the user. That's like a computer generated. Oh, gotcha. Anymore. And they never changed it. Maybe. He says Krillin. <laughs> Krillin could both <laughs> could kill both easy. Definitely not a bot. But the fact that Krillin can beat him means that they are both weak as <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Because Krillin's died like four times canonically <laughs> in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Let's keep bringing it back. Yeah. <laughs> Tom PC Crew 7039. Dog, this isn't even a question. Monica is at least city level. Starlight, not even building level for real. That's it's not go. true, is it? Her back end city level. <laughs> okay. She got that thing on her. <laughs> at least the shifter did. Yeah. No, I was talking about Monica. 
Oh, oh. You never seen the back end of Monica Rambo? I haven't seen the Marvels. I don't know. Knock you out. <laughs> she turns around. You better steer clear, dude. <laughs> Calling her Aunt Fanny. Oh, my God. What a reference to that. Um, no, I don't know. I, I do think maybe Monica Rambo wins this just because she's more intergalactic or and something. And she's military. She was in the Air Force. It's true. Starlight has like a background in like pageant, pageants and stuff. Yeah. So... <laughs> You're right. That's a bad matchup, but I, I thought their power sets were good. I Honestly, wanted to get her in there. Could we have matched her up with? You know what I mean? Um, is there anyone else with like light powers or like any kind of you know? No. I don't know. So maybe like a maybe like a Pepper Potts with a suit on, but there's no way she's winning that either. No, <laughs> and that's saying something. <laughs> she loses the Black Widow, in my opinion. It would have been like like Scarlet Witch from like Age of Ultron, maybe, but she's way stronger. No, she's still way stronger. Even too. in that movie, she's way stronger. But yeah, she hasn't she like fully awakened Ultron's her. Heart. Yeah. It felt like it dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is our first jump into the cosmic side of Marvel. We have Nebula versus Kimiko. What do you think? Kimiko. I don't know, man. I think Nebula is pretty cool. She can like regenerate kind of the same way. If Kimiko starts ripping body parts off, though, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I think season one Kimiko is just peak. I think she bodies any version of uh, Nebula. I need to go back and watch the boys because you you're holding the the notion that she like gets worse over time, but I think she's pretty consistent. She throughout. definitely gets worse over time. I don't know. I think she takes a lot of hits because that's her power. They want to show that power off, you know? Yeah. So uh, we've got Imposter Among Us 2167. Kimiko can only be killed by something made in the boys' universe, so there is no way Nebula could kill her. I don't know why he's saying that. I don't know where he got that information from. I, I, I think it's Was because... Was that one of those pop-up trivias like Inventa? <laughs> like Inventa. Yeah. I think it's because the um, virus works on Kimiko. At least for a little bit, they cut her leg off so it yeah. doesn't get her. But, um, Imposter, if you watch this video, please explain where you get this logic from. I'd love to hear it. Taco So says, I think people over eight, over hate, I think is what he means to say. Over eight or under eight. Oh, no, he's right. I'm dumb. <laughs> over Underrate, eight. Over eight. I'm thinking about lunch already. Over yeah. eight. <laughs> uh, over eight or under eight the boys' universe sometimes. But he does say Nebula would wipe the floor with Kimiko. I love how he says, this just said people either overrate or underrate. So he's basically saying people either like or dislike. Like, yeah, those are the only two options you have. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we do have uh, Kimiko winning at 60% versus Nebula's 40% with 674 votes in total. Yeah, so the boys gets another point. Boys gets another board, point. So it's 4-2 right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, Marvel's not slowing down, but yeah. at least they're taking a couple hits. In the last, yeah, yeah, yeah. The last video, it was like one for the Guardians of the Globe. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the fight Black Noir versus Moon Knight. What do you, what's your... Moon Knight, all day. He's got... Healing ability, he's got three people in him, so you knock one of them out, the other two are just going to keep coming out. I you essentially have to works. fight three people <laughs> in the body of one, right? Yeah. Um, And then he's got a god backing him. So, that's you true. Know. That's very true. Uh, also, he's like more powerful in certain like phases of the moon or yes, something. Yes, that's crazy. I love that little bit. <laughs> you are correct in thinking that our audience would also think that. Uh, Black Noir got 13% of the votes. Moon Knight got 87% of the votes. Total of 1.2 thousand votes. Thank you guys for voting. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Asriel178 says, They seem roughly comparable in terms of strength and speed. Black Noir might be harder to damage, but any damage done to him sticks, while Moon Knight has a pretty potent healing factor. And Moon Knight also has some pretty decent weapons that, as far as I know, can probably damage Black Noir. Now, does he have a potent healing factor in the show? Do we see that? Yeah, we've seen that several times. Okay. Like I can't he's taking, like, falls and stuff. The show wasn't very memorable to me, obviously, so I don't, I don't yeah, know. But. Yeah, yeah. Um, I liked when they went to the do -Watt. See, I don't even... Is that like the, the, the gods? That's like, the Egyptian like underworld. Yeah, okay. Or, I remember that. There was like yeah. a hippo or something involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, also, I just I just love the personality of Moon Knight so much. I know Black Noir's personality is not having a personality. Yeah. But I think Oscar Isaac does... That's his name, right? Oscar Isaac. Yeah, yeah. Oscar Isaac just does a phenomenal job as Moon Knight. He does do a good job. I think he was better than the project, honestly. Like, he yeah. outperformed the project. Yeah, he carried... The only reason... But I do love his fake little British accent. I like that it, yeah. it's fake because he's not really British. He's yeah, not, because... Oh, my, I'm a mom. I'm calling me mom. Yeah, it's so funny because <laughs> you're, led, you're led to believe that he is the real one. And yeah, Mark yeah. Spector is the split personality. But it's really Steven, yeah. you know? Yeah, so yeah. that's crazy. So then we got Joe Apo Pedro Rodriguez, uh, 9531. I think that's how you say it. Guys, it's MCU. He was very nerfed. Black Noir wins. I think he was very nerfed, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he wins. Yeah, no, not at all. He was very nerfed. He still had the power of a god. Yeah, he took. Apparently, he took out a whole like street of, street full of people. So yeah, I, we didn't see that fight. And scene. He's got the KFC man suit. <laughs> the KFC, the Doctor Colonel Sanders. Whatever. Yeah, it is. dude. <laughs> anyway, both um, suits go hard. <laughs> so we've got we've got 
considerably more votes for the MCU at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the boys, uh, you know, it's it's a good universe. It's it's more so about killing the super people. So that's you know, I guess that's kind of where we go with this. Yeah. Um, like they don't want to be too overpowered, so like they yeah, because they have stop believing you could kill them. Yeah. Plus, like they're just made in the lab. Like they're not, like like Conchu gives Mark powers, and he's like a god. Like this is an Egyptian god. Yeah. I mean, that we know of. It might not even be real. It might be all in his head. Oh. Uh, I don't say that. No, I don't think That's it is like that. There's too much going thing. on. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think the boys. Uh, it's a very fun show. Mm-hmm. It, right now, for me, it's it's the quality. The amount of quality in the boys is over the amount of quality in the MCU. Yeah, recently. Recently, yeah, of course, like mm-hmm. the last couple of years. Except for Deadpool. Deadpool's fun. I mean, there's a couple good products. I'm not gonna cherry pick, but like, I think I enjoyed the boys more than the Marvel stuff recently. Yeah, probably. You know. Well, guys, if you have any more matchups for the boys or. Um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe you want us to cover in the future episode of this matchup, we could do that in the comments. Um, I think we're going to maybe cover this again when Gen V comes out, maybe do some of the Gen V characters with their Marvel counterparts or some other universe maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you guys have anything you want, just leave in the comments. Yeah. Also, don't forget to let us know who you think would win between the Deep and uh, Namor. Namor. Obviously, it's Namor, but just a, th- a little yeah. fun, little comic question, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good comic question. All right, so if you guys want to see the other one of these that we've done so far, it's uh, X-Men versus the Guardians of the Globe. That'll be on this side of the screen. And then if you want to watch our review of The Boys, it's on this side of the screen over here. And guys, you can always subscribe to us here in the middle, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.